Hi everyone. In this video interview, we're having a look at facing friends, especially within and during the beginning stages of one's process, uh, where one have within one's experience at the moment uh, quite solid friendships and a social network of friends and within walking within our destiny that even simply within seeing one's own mind in one's thoughts and back chat and internal conversations and reactions more and more starts making sense in terms of one's actual real relationship to and towards friends and that can manifest a sense of and reaction of fear of loss of losing one's friends and one's social network now let us first explain what this fear of loss experience in fact is the fear of loss that one would experience in terms of losing one's friends or friendship social network is where it's because of guilt um, and shame and judgment of self in relation to one's relationship with and as one's friends because fear of loss will only come up within the context of the want need and desire to hold on to something or someone because of and due to fear and that fear is within the context of them seeing finding out or getting to know what is really going on in your mind, in your thoughts, in your back chat, in your reactions as your real actual nature and starting point of these friendships. And then as one starts seeing, realizing, understanding oneself and what is really going on within oneself, that fear starts building and building and building and you go into guilt because you don't want your friends to really in fact find out and see and have you be exposed of what you are accepting and allowing and therefore will try and make it up by tightening or strengthening your friendship relationship with them and you'll find that your total nature within yourself and your relationship with them will go into wanting to pleasing them uh, wanting to do things for them wanting to do things with them and you'll even within that experience that you'll more and more and more have to hype yourself up in terms of being excited to do things with them to go to places with them uh, to um, participate with them and the more and more you do that it's like at the same time you experience an actual anxiety and heaviness inside your human physical body where it becomes more and more difficult to actually enjoy yourself with them and you will start experiencing within that a fakeness manifest within yourself and with them where your smile your a laughter your excitement your doing with them participating with them and being with them becomes more and more uh, systematized and it's like you're standing at the outside of yourself and you're forcing yourself to do all these things now it is unnecessary to put yourself through that whole process in terms of friends and friendships um, but to as you're walking with destiny take note of this experience of fear of loss that may manifest within you in your mind consciousness system that is in fact a fear of your friends being exposed to the real nature of you that you're starting to see realize and understand in your mind consciousness system and not accept and allow yourself to be driven by that fear of loss in terms of trying to save the relationships 
in having to create a total fake personality within yourself to be with your friends to participate with them and enjoy them and in eventually it can lead one into excuses justifications and validations of not walking one's own process in self-realization in stopping the mind in facing oneself within one's mind consciousness system but will deliberately draw oneself into one's friends or friendship social networks to deliberately not face self but run away from self and hide self from self through creating a friendship social network personality and you'll create such a back door for yourself in terms of justifying excusing and validating why it is that you don't want to change and why it is that you're not changing but prefer in fact living within an alternate mind reality where you think or believe friendships are real uh, when in fact you are within that very process proving to yourself that your friendships uh, are driven by fear of loss within the context of the fear of them finding out the real nature of yourself within your mind consciousness system as we have explained in terms of relationships in this world in this reality it primarily exists for you to hide from yourself for you to not face yourself because you can create alternate personalities to live out to portray and to project project and live within those personalities and suppress ignore and hide what's really going on in your secret mind in your back chat and internal conversations where if those things come up towards them you can simply suppress hide or deny it and put up that personality and go oh everything is okay i'm still your friend um but that is a defense and protection mechanism that you're putting up to not see face deal with and direct the real true nature of yourself that can be seen in your secret mind and your back chat now at destiny we're not saying stop sever uh, ignore deny run away from your friends and the human beings in your world that you refer to as friends um, what we're saying is step one is to understand that experience of the fear of loss um, it's not in fact fear of loss that you're experiencing it is fear of exposure that you're experiencing and it'll come more and more prevalent as you start facing your mind consciousness system in your thoughts your back chat your reactions and your internal conversations so then it's not to go into that state of wanting to create an alternate personality and stay with your friends which is simply going into running away hiding and suppressing your own self process um, what we suggest doing is simply assist and support yourself in changing your starting point when you're with your friends or family or whichever friendships relationships that exists within your world and your reality and face yourself with them because what friends assist and support within your process is showing you parts of yourself within your mind consciousness system that you have manifested as personalities instead of living as self here within self equality and oneness where you have developed created manifested and designed mind personalities through which you function that your friends interact with and relate with and connect with that move you into that total position of existing as personalities as your mind consciousness system instead of living within self equality and oneness where your relationship towards all human beings are within the context of equality and oneness and can assist and support you into a position where you will eventually be able to actually assist and support another human being as yourself equal and one so understand the manifestation and dynamics of friendship relationships is in essence personality relationships so what you can do is uh, when you're participating with your friends when you're being with them going out with them i mean doing whatever with them go for it i mean 
yes, we're still in this world, in this physical reality. So if you get an opportunity to go and do something, go for it. <laughs> we're not saying go and hide in a cave and isolate yourself from the world and this reality. This world and this reality is you. We're simply saying change your starting point in your participation in this world where when you're participating with your friends and being with your friends, assist and support yourself in that process of reflecting and bringing everything back to self. Have a look at what thoughts come up, what back chat come up, what reactions come up. You can have like a, a personality diary that you can uh, have with yourself where you can see what personalities you access with what friend. Um, and within that, right, what thoughts came up, what back chat, what internal conversations, what reactions came up within yourself toward your friend, which will in fact show you what it is that you are accepting and allowing yourself to live as, as a particular personality towards maybe other people within your world and reality. Or if there are even friends that you really react to, you can see what it is that you are denying, resisting, or suppressing within personalities within yourself that you're doing towards other human beings that you're seeing in this friend, but you blame it on your friend and not realize that you're actually doing the exact same thing. Or you have a friend that you really, really like. You can have a look at what personality within yourself are they reflecting back to you that you're relating with but not accepting and allowing to live within yourself um, like what is it that's drawing you to this being what is this being showing you of yourself that you haven't accepted become or lived as yourself so utilize your friends as your base platform of assisting and supporting yourself to move out of split mind personalities into self equality and oneness as you walk your process through your mind consciousness system in standing equal to and one with self and this is that process of for example let's say you have that friend that you really really like and you have a look at what is it about that friend that you like and you see it's the way that he or she can discipline themselves to get things done and you have a look at yourself and you're quite a haphazard postponement doing things halfway kind of person and then all you to do is you start changing yourself to stand equal to and one with that particular aspect of that friend of you in stopping that nature of yourself of postponement and doing things halfway and asserting yourself to specifying your discipline if there's a friend that you tend to react to but you're still friends with them, have a look at what is it within them that they're showing that's in fact existent within self. Where you start seeing that it's how they, for example, gossip. And you tend to react when they start gossiping. And how they are speaking nastily about other human beings. And then you start realizing that, oh my God, I'm doing that exact same thing maybe not vocally but in my own mind and then you assist and support yourself to stop that within yourself in realizing the manifested consequence it creates within your relationships with other human beings um, so utilize your friendship relationships in assisting and supporting your personal process of becoming equal to and one with self and obviously it's not necessary to immediately communicate and speak about destiny in terms of trying to change them or have them change or save them or rescue them or go into ego superiority that apparently because you've got now this knowledge and information about equality and one as you are more than them um, remember it's still only knowledge and information you must become a living example to such an extent where your behavior, your speaking, your sharing, and your expression change within the principle of what's best for all, equal and one, that they start asking questions. Where, for example, you'll start stopping participating in gossip because you start seeing, realizing, and understanding the consequence it really manifests for others.
for the very relationship between those that are gossiping because I mean here's this person gossiping who's to say that they're not doing the exact same to you so therefore it just simply compromises trust to the absolute degree and I mean even gossiping says a lot about a human being that they can rant and rave about another person to such an extent that what is it that is the real nature of what's going on inside their mind I mean having to stoop to such a level to speak like that behind another's back in front of other human beings in elevating themselves into a position of ego superiority and popularity at the expense of another human being who they are their life their total existence I mean that is really the real nature of evil in this world so you simply stop gossiping or and you start equalizing yourself to your discipline and your changing and how you're approaching your life and your world and accordingly with your friends you're starting to assist and support yourself in your self process so I mean from that perspective from that starting point I mean it's cool to hang out with your friends do it as a point in assisting and supporting oneself and oneself process and accordingly become a living example of change where they start asking you hey what have you done you've changed you're more relaxed uh, you're not having these emotional feeling outbursts anymore I see you're not so infatuated with men anymore um, you've calmed down a bit yeah, you're more certain more stable more serious uh, your participation in conversations has been more selective uh, you're not crying so much anymore you know things like that it must be actual real changes that is physically visible where they start asking you questions and then you have the access to assist and support them until then um, whatever one has not proven to oneself in living application as self and proven that constantly and consistently you cannot speak about because then it's just not as information it's gonna disappear like a wisp of smoke in the air in terms of another human being's mind consciousness system because knowledge and information disappear like that however a living change a living example that can be seen is something that cannot be denied and therefore when I start asking questions then you can share you know this is what I've realized um, what I've done and I'm changing myself doing this and walking like this and assisting and supporting myself like that and then introduce self-forgiveness writing how you're uh, letting go of burdens and that's why you've been more lighter recently or not breaking down so easily and how you've let go and release yourself and things like that so just be watchful of that tendency of manipulating oneself and sabotaging one's own process of trying or attempting to make friendship relationships more than self uh, which we do within the utilizing of that manipulation as fear of loss which is in fact one's own fear of being exposed of the real nature of what's going on in one's mind and I mean you've got to be self honest with yourself one is trying to say friendship relationships yet at the same time you know what's really going on in your mind towards these human beings and it's not pretty nice light positive things I mean the nature of our mind consciousness system is dark evil bad negative everything that we've been resisting throughout our lives and then we try and make it okay by pleasing by portraying um, these nice smiling excited personalities but all of that is fake it's not real so within that what is it that you're really doing then within wanting to save friendship relationships um, when you self honestly face what the real nature of those relationships is in your own mind so be watchful of that tendency of wanting to hide run away uh, within friendship relationships but rather utilize your friendship relationships as your personality mirrors to assist and support yourself in your process of it as you assist and support yourself and become the living example and living proof of change 
and can then only assist and support others within their process of walking what you've walked. And so we assist and support ourselves and each other into an as self equality and oneness through merging all of our personalities we've split ourselves into and as and finally become a self directive living human being that do not change or alter according to who's in our world but actually live within a sense of assisting and supporting ourselves and each other um, in this world in this reality i mean there's more problems in this world than wanting to always just have fun be nice be happy be positive and things like that all of that you'll start seeing is really in fact fake it's not real um and get to know your friends and the being that's there and what it is that's really going on inside them and their life experience their past um, i mean there's really more to a human being than just what you see immediately with your human physical eyes so first get to know yourself to get to know others to really make a change and a difference in this world and this reality thank you very much